Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a lanyard mockup with Canva. Now first things first, you're going to want to search for the size of lanyard that you are going to create. I have opened a website that allows me to see a bunch of lanyard sizes. So here I got ilanyardmfg.com and they gave me this lanyard size. So we can see it in feet, in inches, in millimeters, and you can just try on whichever size you want to create. Once you do that, we're going to go back to Canva here, and then we're going to go ahead and click create a design. And then you want to click this custom size. Then you want to copy and paste the size that we've had here to this part right here. So I'm going to choose the uh, 25 by 810 here. I'm going to go ahead and change this to millimeters. So it's going to be 25 in height and then 810 in width. Then I'm going to go ahead and click create a design. All right, so this is how our canvas looks like looks like just a very long strip so we're going to start by choosing the color the background color of our lanyard I'm gonna go with black so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this color ball right here and then if you scroll down you'll find a bunch of default color but if you're going to create a custom color you can always click this add new color and then you can click from this color palette or this color chart right here. I'm just going to choose black for now and I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to see how it looks like and you can see there is a guideline right here so I'm going to go ahead and click to file click on setting and I'm not going to be using the rulers and the guide as well as the print bleed I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off so again in order to setting that you can go to the file sections go to settings and then turn off or turn on whatever you need for your design I'm just going to add let's see an element here so I'm gonna go to this part right here and the first thing I want to search is abstract line so I'm going to go ahead and search for abstract line right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and click see all. So you can see there is a bunch of lines that I can use. And if you're using Canva Pro Count, you'll be able to use the one that has this crown symbol. But if you're not using the Pro Count, if you're using the free account, you can simply choose the one that has no crown symbol on it. All right, so let's try and see which one of these lines are we going to be using. So this one looks cool, kind of like the one that looks something like this with lots of squiggly lines. There's actually one that catches my eye, which is this one's right here. And you can see that they're going to show me the color palette of that specific element. And I can change every single one of them. And it looks like this for now and we can make it bigger like so and let's say that I want to create some sort of pattern I'm going to put it at the very top just going to zoom out a little bit put it like so all right and then maybe I want to try and search for some more squiggly lines or something that looks like this Usually they'll give me a bunch of recommendation for element that looks like the one that we've just used. This one also looks cool, or maybe this one. I'm just going to add a bunch of elements and I'll see you once I'm done with it. Alright, so I've made a bunch of elements, put it together like so. So what I did was I add around three elements, I arrange it like how I want it to be, and then I flip them. 
And in order to do that, all you have to do is click on the elements you want to flip and then click on flip and you can choose whether you want to flip it horizontally or vertically. And then you can group them all together so that instead of being an individual elements, they're going to be group elements, some things like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all of this together and I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it along my lanyard. Alright, so this is how my lanyard looks like so far. It's just a bunch of squiggly lines. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a text. In order to do that, you can go to the text sections right here. And I'm just going to scroll down until I found a font combination that I like. This one here looks pretty nice. So I'm going to use this one. And let's say that it's going to say Moonshine Company. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make this slightly longer and adjust it so it looks some things like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy this so that it's going to be all over the lanyard. All right, so this is how my lanyard looks like. I think it looks pretty nice. I like how all the color works well together. And if you would like to see it closer, this is how it looks like. And you can always create a new page if you want to. Let's say you want to create another version. You can always click on the first page right here. You zoom it out a little bit. You can always go to the scroll view right here and then click on add page. And if you would like to make it exactly like the one you've just created, you can always click duplicate page. Then maybe you want to change just one or two elements here or maybe you want to change the colors. Feel free to play around and explore the elements that Canva have, or let's say that you already have a brand logo that you want to insert, you can always go to the upload sections right here and upload your logo through clicking this upload file. And once you're done with everything, you can go ahead and click on share and you can click on download and then you can choose on the file type that you want. You can also share these templates to your coworkers. For example, if you need someone to help you fix something, you can always go to the share buttons right here, click on see all, and then you can create a template link so that other people can also help you design your stuff on Canva. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a lanyard mockup with Canva. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.